Welcome to Faz Learning Center. In today's video, I'll be showing you some mental math tricks that you can use when you are adding. So, my first question is 35 add 23. You may have realised that I have set this out as column addition. However, we're not going to use column addition. We'll be doing this mentally. So, before we start, we are going to identify the tens and ones. So we know the three and the two are the tens, and the five and, a, and the three are ones. So first we're going to add the tens. So we have 30 plus 20, which gives us 50. Now we are going to add the ones, which are these. Five, add three which gives us 8. When we add 50 and 8 together, we get 58. 5, 50, add 8 equals 58. However, I've written this down, but I'm going to encourage you to do this mentally. So, this is the first example. So, in our head, we think about the first, the the two, two digits that represent the tens. We say three tens and two tens. Twen 30 add 20 gives us 50. And then we look at the ones and we say 5 add 3 equals 8. So 50 add 8 equals 58. Right, let's look at the next example. 64 add 22. Again, we're going to think about the tens and the ones. So I know the tens are the 60 and, and 20, and the ones are 4 and 2. So mentally, I'm going to add 60 and 20. 60 add 20 will give me 80. And then mentally, I'm going to add 4 add 6. 4 add 2 will give me 6. So 4 add 2 equals 6. So we know 80 add 6 equals 86. That's how we will do it mentally. It's going to be faster than writing it down. And it's a fabric trick to learn and you can use it for any digits. It could be a two digit number, it can be a three digit number, it could even be to a seven digit number you can still use the same method 47 add 28 first we're going to identify the tens and the ones and now we're going to add them up so four tens is 40 two tens are 20 40 add 20 is 60. Then we are going to add the ones, which are 7 add 8. 7 add 8 equals 15. So 60 add 15 gives us 75. Again, here what you can do is you can add the tens together as well. So so you could add these together, 60 add 6 tens, add 1 ten gives you 70. And then you can add the units together, which are these two. And then when you add 0 add 5 gives us 75. And then we got to the answer. So do these examples and train your brain to do it mentally.
The next example I have for you is 58 at 39. So, the tens and ones. 5 tens add 3 tens, which makes 50 at 30. That gives us 80. And then we do 8 at 9, which gives us 17. Now, when we write them down, 80 add 17, you might be able to realise that not 80 add another 10 will give you 90. And then we just drop the 7 down. Zero at seven equals seven. So fantastic. The next example will contain three digit numbers, so it's a hundred digits. So we have one hundred and thirty-five, and we're adding this by one hundred and seventeen. So we are now going to partition it to see what we get on the top so we are going to show the tens and the ones and the hundreds and so we know the one hundred is a h the three and the one here are the tens and the one next to it is the ones okay so let's get cracking so let's look at the hundred so we have 100 and another 100 so you will know automatically that 100 add 100 gives us 200 fantastic right now let's go to 10 three tens add one tens 30 at 10 gives us 40 and then let's look at the ones we have five add seven five add seven equals 12. Okay, now when we look at this, and you're thinking about how you're going to add them together, you're going to think 200 add 40, 200 add 40 is 240. So 200 add 40 is 240. Yes, and then I'm going to write 240, and I'm going to add 12, which has come from the ones just from here. To do this, I'm going to look at the 12, and I'm going to say, right, so the 200 is the only digit that is in the 2, so 2 will pop, be popped in here as a H, and then my 10s will be 4 10s and 1 10. Four, 40 add 10 gives me 50, and the 0 add 2 is 2, so my answer is 252. So, as, as I've said before, I am writing this down, however, however, when you're doing it mentally, you'll be doing it faster. Right, our last question is, our last question is, 156, 132, so we'll be adding these two numbers together. First we are going to partition, we're going to show the place value of each number. Or we could even say the tens and the ones. Tens and the one. And then the one here is the hundred. Okay, so we have 156 add 132. This is a big, big number. We're going to get an answer which is going to be over it's going to be over 200 so let's look at how we will tackle this mentally so then writing it down on paper you will say to your brain you will do is 100 add 100 you'll look at the tens first the hundreds first so 100 add 100 gives us 200 then we will look at the the tens which are five and three so five tens is 50 add three tens is 30 50 at 30 is 80, and then I look at the one, 6 at 2 is 8. Right, you might be able to realise that this 
question is when adding this this will be nice and simple so let's look at it 200 at 80 is 280 and then 280 add an 8 it's because this is a unit it just automatically goes on top of the 8 if you understand that this will make your life much easier or make it much easier to add your numbers so 288 is my answer so you just pop that 8 just to repeat what I did so I pop that 8 on top of the units and on top of the 1 so I got 288 280 add 8 gives us 288 I hope I hope you are able to um, use this mental trick while doing daily maths. Um, the more you practice, the faster you will get. I promise you that. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. And subscribe to Faz Learning Centre.